Hey everybody. So a while ago, my friends Nick and Leanne over at Hemlock and Hyde asked me if I would test their pattern for their Greta bag. Their plan was, and has been, to release some of their patterns for their bags so that people like me who make their own leather goods could try and make a bag. Now my first reaction was, does this make me an influencer? Uh, probably not. Maybe a content creator. But let's use that term loosely as some of these uh, clips are a little out of focus. Now originally when I set out to start filming and making this video, I thought I would do a how-to video, but this is the first time I made this bag. Nick and Leanne planned on making a how-to video. Uh, so I decided more than a how-to, I would just do a video showing you that this can be done using hand tools and you don't need a fancy sewing machine. Will you want a, a fancy sewing machine? Well, after you've sewn a few straps together by hand, let me know what you think. Buying patterns is a fantastic way to get into leather work. It allows you to get your feet wet without having to go through the design process. Designing things is a skill in and of itself, and if all you really want to do is just get to making, patterns are a great way to do so. Hemlock and Hyde currently have two patterns available. The Greta, which you see me building here, which is their crossbody bag. And they also put, uh, released a pattern for a discontinued bag called the Penelope Sling Bag. So if you want one of those, you're either going to have to make it yourself or good luck finding it used because nobody wants to sell their Hemlock and Hyde bags. They're awesome. Now, let me take a moment just just for a second to gush about Nick and Leanne. They are an awesome husband and wife duo who run their business out of their basement in Pennsylvania. I discovered Nick and Leanne somewhere around the start of the pandemic, and they have been nothing but open about their processes and how to do what they do. And in the world of crafting, that's so cool. There are a lot of gatekeepers out there, whether it's woodcraft or leathercraft, who want to keep their quote-unquote trade secrets to themselves. Nick and Leanne are not like that. They are so ready and willing to put community over competition, and I really admire that about them. I think that's enough of me prattling on for now. Uh, why don't you just enjoy the rest of the video, get an idea of how you too can make your own Greta bag, and you don't need all the fancy uh, machines or anything like that. Uh, most of the tools that I'm using are relatively cheap. They're uh, the kind of the beginner. I've slowly been upgrading some of my tools when I have the money to do so. But yeah, just sit back and enjoy and I'll check in with you at the end of the video.
back just like I said I'd be to check in with you. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the process. Um, you might be asking, Grant, you have the pattern, you've made this bag, can you make me one? No, I cannot. These patterns are meant for personal use only. Um, so if you're, like I said earlier, you're looking to get your feet wet and, and learn how to make some leather goods, this is a great way to do so. If you want to purchase a Greta bag, you will have to go to hemlockandhide.com and purchase one directly from them. You will not regret it. Um, they use high quality material and they are really great at their craft. So please consider purchasing a bag from them or um, purchasing their pattern and, and giving this a shot yourself. It's, it's such a fun, rewarding experience to make something like this all on your own. While this video has primarily been about my friends over at Hemlock and Hyde, I do want to give a quick shout out to Dennis at 21 Grams. He's a good friend of mine and I purchased this leather balm from him. It's great. I definitely suggest checking it out if your leather goods could use a little touch up. And there you have it folks, all done and ready to be used. I hope you've enjoyed the video and go check out my friends at Hemlock and Hyde.